Tonight's big story, a Valley family is in disbelief after seeing newly released body camera video showing Phoenix police shooting and killing a man in Ahwatukee at his apartment. Good evening, I'm Tramai in for Caribe Divine. And I'm Mark Curtis, thanks for joining us. Now to be clear, when police knocked on his door, that man did answer with a gun in his hand. And seconds later, police opened fire. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live for us at Phoenix Police Headquarters with what an expert is saying about that controversial shooting. Bianca? Yeah, guys, this new video has many wondering if you're a gun owner, what should you do if you have an encounter with police? How you doing? Whoa! Put your hands! 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 Video edited by Phoenix Police showing the moment's officers shot and killed Ryan Whitaker back in May. The officers responding to this 911 call from a neighbor saying he heard what sounded like a domestic disturbance. I have a domestic dispute going on and I can tell that they're just at each other's throats down there. Police arriving at the Ahwatukee apartment. <laughs> Phoenix Police! Whitaker answers the door with a gun in his hand. They just don't give him enough time to put the gun down. Attorney Mark Victor says as long as he wasn't a prohibited possessor, what Whitaker did, answering the door with a gun in his hand, is legal. As soon as he recognizes these are uniformed police officers and they say hands, hands, he puts his hands up, he gets down, it looks like he's putting the firearm down. Arizona, frequently considered a state with the least amount of gun restrictions, does not require gun owners to have a permit and they can carry openly. And there's a knock at the door late at night, he opens the door. It's not unreasonable for him to have a gun in his hand. Phoenix police reports indicating Whitaker, quote, exited the apartment with a firearm in an aggressive manner toward the officers. The woman inside with him at the time of the shooting later telling police they had been playing video games, saying there was no fight. While Victor doesn't believe Whitaker did anything wrong, he offers advice to those of you gun owners who may find yourself in a similar situation. You can avoid this with having a camera outside or even a peephole and you have the gun in your hand, you know, maybe it's best to not have it exposed. And Whitaker's family speaking with 12 News saying they want the officers involved fired and charged. Internal Affairs here at Phoenix Police Headquarters is now investigating. We're live in Phoenix tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10. Bianca, thank you. Meanwhile,